hey guys this is the third video in the automation series and in the last video what we have done is we uh, we have seen like how exactly you have used we have used netmeco to log into the router and get the show version and show interface brief output from the router and exit out of the router using telnet operation right now in this particular video what we are going to basically do is is basically um, you know configure a loopback interface on the router right now as part of the loopback the first and the foremost thing is we will go to the routers i um, mean uh, how exactly think of the steps right how exactly you set up the loopback interface so you go to the com you enter the command interface loopback whatever x i mean one two three four or zero whatever it may be number right let's say look back zero and then you add the command ip address and then define the ip address one 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 two five five two five five two five five zero and by default look back is up so you do not have to do no shut right so these are the commands that you have to basically enter into the router to configure it so you have we have to use the same approach in our automation script where in order to enter the loopback configuration so we'll use the same approach but using automation let's do that so what we are going to do is we are going to delete the previously configured um, show version and show interface brief commands now we'll try with the loopback so i'm going to configure the loop loopback interface under this prime model because what we are doing here is we are connecting to the router using netmeco sending the enable uh, going to the privilege mode printing telnet login successful and after this we will want to enable the loopback interface before i enable the loopback interface let me show you the router show ip interface brief so by default there is no loopback configured only we have three interface gigabit one two and three there is no loopback at this time so now let's do that right so what we have to do is we have to create a variable called let's say we'll enter the name as config loop back underscore um, command okay this is the uh, variable we are going to put now we are going to put it in a bracket like this now what commands we have to set is let's say first is interface loop back zero so this is the first command that we want to send and then put a comma after you put a comma you can enter the next command as let's say uh, let's say like this ip address 1.1.1.1255255255250 okay and let's say the last command you want to exit out of the config mode right and then you exit from here now after you are you are, you have to send this command now in order to send this command interface look back and whatnot right you have to uh use the send command so how do you exactly do that so we'll put it in a um probably a variable called output so that we want to see the output equal to net underscore connect dot send underscore config underscore set and then we have to enter this command config loopback command right and send this command to the route after you send this command probably you would like to see uh, the output right what exactly you have sent to the route so you print it print output so basically it is going to print this particular data so here let's reiterate in the config loopback command you are sending these commands to the router and here i mean these are the commands and you are sending basically this command which is under this variable using net com connect send config set under this and using this uh, variable here 
and then finally here you're printing the output of this whatever you have sent you're printing an output of this here right so now let's save this file and run this command all right all right so if you see here what we have done is we are now able to enter into the router interface loopback zero and then the next thing what we have done is IP address 1.1.1.1.255.255.255.0 is what we have used and then we did exit out of the router and it ended the uh, ended the session from uh, but it went to the end command and finally disconnected from the session so let's see if this command is taken place in the router so if you notice here prior to executing this command the loopback interface was not there but after we executed this command show ip interface brief the loopback interface was configured as 1.1.1.1 and it is up right so now let's say we you want to change it to loopback address to 2.1.1.1 you just have to send this command now you will notice the loopback ip address will be changed to 2.1.1.1.1 right so this is how exactly you basically um, you know send the commands to the router and get the output of your commands that you have sent so i i hope um, this is going to be very informative for the uh, use cases right where we have to do repetitive jobs uh, on daily basis for example let's imagine you have routers where you have to configure acls manually on most of the routers on daily basis or maybe monthly basis whenever you commission a new router right so executing those acls acls are pretty much standard on most of the routers right on most of the network devices so if these are let's say common configuration right so you can enter those commands here and send the commands directly to the router so this is going to save a lot of your time you do not have to struggle doing it manually you can schedule this as per the way you want and then you can send the configuration to the router right i hope this video is informative for you thank you for watching